Welcome back. Let's continue our adventure through Rockland. Oh, that's right. I'd set myself back here at Blacksmith Jackie to help remind me what I was up to last time. How forward thinking. Blacksmith Jackie would like five camphor sticks, three pieces of nightstone, and they're confident we can find these in the area just southeast of the village. Not gonna lie, I failed super hard at reading comprehension last time we did that, so thanks <laughs> immensely for the reminder, Blacksmith Jackie. What a well-written game. So just southeast of the village, you say? Any chance I can go there? You two back again. You don't have to worry about us anymore. <laughs> and why is that? We just went through Morisora's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh, uh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Good luck. And here, both ghosts uh, continues mentioning the Sila Berry Pancake Eating Contest. And now they eat the most. Alright, whoa. So we're looking for camphor sticks and something else. I'm sure the game will clue us in when the time comes. Picked up some camphor sticks, I assume. Oh, what's this? You'll need something to carry this, or you can catch it. You know, this sakura tree, and cherry blossom tree, it, it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, whoosh. Hmm. There's no way to line. Oh, wait, if we both stand in front of the tree. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's attention... well... I was gonna say that's attention to detail. I can't... No, they're both slightly facing forward, slightly facing left, but... I think that looks wonderful. What do you think? So... Sure. We can say things that, you know, it's great to go around exploring and go look at all the things. How many people just bask in just the light, and the color, and this tone and such? I don't suppose that most people like do meditation or thought or stuff like that. But yeah, it's a lovely place to do it. Can't pick up. Okay. Cannot pick up bamboo in this condition. But yeah, this is. I like the parallax scroll. And what I mean by that is, like, various parts of the game scroll faster than others. You can see the light forms slightly move up and down or left and right. But the rest of. Actually, yeah, that's not even parallax. Like, parallax would be what they did in Donkey Kong Country. This, the light effect, it's really clever. It really gets the sense that you're moving somewhere. Vanishing point perspective is the art term, but still. I don't know what the tech is called. Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, it's true, isn't it? Let me tell you, it's not true! Sure, I might have a few cousins who shower once a month, and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. I'm more with Bellum on this one. I don't so much mind how an onion smells, but how does it taste? <laughs> but that might be a bit cruel to the onion. Okay, so we're picking up... Hi, I'm a Minimori. There are many of us, but we all have a number attached to our name. 
Yeah, we met eight of your kid in the cave last time, didn't we? Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the number in which we came into this world. Alright, bit of trivia. The more you know. Wait. That means there are very finite few number of them, doesn't it? What do you want? What do you want? Alright, so we picked up some charcoal, I guess, and camphor sticks. Ah, but we aren't equipped to move rocks around. We can't catch these things that are floating around us. What else can you tell us? I have cousins all over the forest, and they're all very interesting. Cousin 12, for example, is going to school to become a doctor. Cousin 3 is a food fortune teller. What's that? The meat, she can tell your fortune based on what kind of food you like. I like beets. See, we have quite the connoisseur. Now, what are beans like in this world? We've seen bamboo, we've seen camphor, and sakura. Beans can mean a lot of different things, no? I mean, there's baked beans. It's been a while since I've had that. Maybe should I try it again? I find that there are things in childhood you might not have cared for so much that maybe you love these days. And some of the reverse, I'm sure. But hopefully we're always learning new foods, enjoying new things. It can't all be a negative experience. So we can pick up... Oh, in the cave we tried to pick up some of these purple things too, but in the cave we couldn't walk on them. Here we can walk on them. 20 G. That's twice as much G as the last one. The Liebels use the area south of here for their Star Night Festival. They get crazy! But you know what's really crazy? Being a slave to your possessions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's what I decided to get rid of all my stuff. Except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. You know? What a joyful world it must be to be able to live such a carefree life. Animals, in many ways, have the right ideas. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box, he's standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first letting go of your possessions, but once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. Until you run out of food and shelter and water, and then... But anyway, no. <laughs> that got dark. Uh, but no, it, it's great that they can live in such a simple world. Sorry, festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Alright, if you say so. in a forest here, couldn't you? Just basking in it all. You know, I've once got this game on Steam called Flower, and it just involves, like, a flower petal floating about the scene. Constantly meeting up with petals of different colors and whirring around a field that just becomes, I don't know, increasingly decorative. It may be a bit challenging to navigate at times, but they're really beautiful. You know, perhaps the world needs board games where you just, like, walk around, look at things, really take in, here's the tree, there's the waterfall, and we have the sunlight, and we have these little ambient things just walking around. 
Uh, RPG Maker can make a lot of beautiful things when put in the right hands. So we got some Sela Berries. Yeah. Alright, I don't remember if we got enough things for Blacksmith Jackie. Should we try it? There, I mean, there's no harm in trying, right? He'll let us know how close we are. Or remind us what it is that we need. That he just reminded us of about five minutes ago. Ah! I see you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. Sorry, I can't remember the voices. Oh well. I hope you enjoy your new axe! We received an axe. Works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down! Feel free to take what you find inside. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? Oh. Alright. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Truly we love our adventuring. Is there nothing else to touch while we're here? Oh, a sign. Tool menu. Axe. Camphor sticks. Five. Nightstone. Three. Pickaxe. Camphor sticks. Five. Lumen rock. Three. Nightstone. Three. Wait. Is it possible to upgrade um, an axe into a pickaxe? Oh, that would be too easy. Chop, chop. All right. You found a cat's eye marble. Hmm. You know, I can remember someone who said that they wanted a marble. Hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jackie, for letting us know what it takes to make things. Well, let's go see that person who might appreciate this marble. As soon as we can remember how to navigate our way about this place again. Seem... was it this place? How lost am I? Hi! Bye! A cat's eye marble. Hmm. Do you remember? If we're trying to make somebody happy... Who might appreciate most a cat's eye marble? Also, hopefully I can remember this door next time and not need to go through punching in passcodes and such. I'm very sorry about this, Winston. I just can't believe someone would do something like this. Stealing a wedding band from a comatose woman. These are indeed desperate times. We will do all we can to try and find out who took this from her, who stole this from her. Thank you for your help, Doctor. I understand how busy everyone must be right now, so this means a lot. Of course. And if you could spare some extra blankets, it would be very appreciated. I know they boarded up the hole inside the bathroom wall, but there's still a very chilly wind coming through. I'm very sorry about that, Winston. We'll send over some supplies. Thank you. I'll come by later to check on Gemma. In the meantime, please take care. Huh. See, we're not the only one. You know, should we say hi to Chef Panky again? I feel like it's been a while since we've seen Chef Panky. How's he doing? Hey there! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? You hear about the thief? Oh, well, apparently you didn't hear about the band thief. But yeah, this is the same advice he provided us last time, unfortunately. 
Hey, Gano. You need something? Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lock box things on them? I heard that they keep the passcode and some password somewhere behind the reception desk. It's across from Kisaburo's room. What do you think is behind those doors? <laughs> Alright. Um, apparently dialogue is not advanced here. It's kind of cool to me that some games will advance dialogue as a virtue of you progressing a main along the or by virtue of you progressing along the main plot. Um, and maybe this game does that too in some way. Is this Sue's room? Gemma and Sue's room. Ah. What's this? Oh Gemma, or Gemma. I'm sorry about all of this. Poor Winston. Oh. What what is it, Mom? While we're here, do you think Sue might like the cat's eye marble we got from Jackie? Good idea, Mom. I think she would. that. I just can't believe someone would do this. Oh, hello. Can I help you with anything? Yes, and it appears he or she is struck again. What did they take this time? Sadly, my wife's wedding band was stolen. I just can't believe they would take something like that. Yeah, it takes something to do that. Oh hey, you came back. It's good to see you again. Did you hear? Someone stole Gemma's wedding ring. Gemma? Oh, Gemma's Winston's wife. I share a room with her. Isn't that awful though? I mean, who would steal something like that from a woman in a coma? I'm beginning to think the thief isn't a very nice person, after all. Those are the rest of my little worlds. Do you want to know about any of them? We already asked her last time. I brought you something. You brought me something? It isn't much, but I remember you collect marbles. Nope. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's actually give her the marble. You give the cat's eye marble to Sue. Ah! The cat planet! Cat planet? Oh, I really miss this one. It really looks like a cat's eye. A cat's eye, doesn't it? I struggle parsing that because I've actually seen a cat's eye marble before. And thinking about it, it never dawned on me that the reason it's called a cat's eye marble is that it looks something like a cat's eye. Somehow, that just never, ever dawned on me. Until right now, as Sue is explaining it. And I feel a bit foolish for not having figured that out, no? That's because this planet has lots of cats. But here's the surprising part it has a lot of dogs, too. There's dogs living there, too? Oh, yes. People are always saying that cats and dogs cannot get along. But that's just not true. People always think that if you're different, it means you're bad. And then they treat you differently. Like, if you don't look the same, or if you don't have money. 
even if it's not your fault. They treat you bad because you're different from them. Also, what pers what kind of person takes a woman in a coma's wedding ring and wedding band? Gosh, we must judge that person quite a bit. I mean, we're talking about a child here. We cannot judge that they're mentally in two places at once here. A lot of adults operate in a similar mind space where you try to put let them know that like yeah this is how people are sometimes people are not perfect and like you put this sort of non-judgment one way but we actually had a chance to meet a thief whether or not it's the same thief who took the band we've seen like a man be very apologetic for being in such difficult circumstances. And here Sue is saying not to judge folks, but also asking, like, what kind of person takes such a valuable object from a person who can't defend themselves? It's, it's a fair question, but also yeah, pe a lot of people are different from other people. And that's not to say that thievery is right. It's just the world is such a diverse and complex place. And it's hard to, like, I don't know. It's hard to find some way and truth that works well for everyone. But we all do our best. I know what you mean. But cat planet's different. The cats and dogs get along just fine. In fact, there's a bakery here that's run by cats and dogs. The cats and dogs make the food together? Yeah! It's really good, too. They have pink donuts and coconut bread. Not gonna lie. I want to go to Cat's Eye Planet. You know, just for the coconut bread. I'll pass on the pink donuts, though. I love coconut bread. Uh, see? Boy, boy's way ahead of us on that. What even is coconut bread? Hey, can I ask you for something? Sure. Why do you keep snooping around our bathroom? Is there something cool in there? Can you keep a secret? I won't tell anyone. I think there might be a door down there. A special door. Where does it lead? To a place called Marisada's Forest. I'm trying to wake up the guardian of the forest. So he'll grant us a wish. So you have secret worlds too. I do. Hmm. Well, the shift leader is in the bathroom now. So you might not be able to look around for your door. Unless... Here, give her one of these. Sue gave you peanut choo-choos. Thanks, Sue. She loves these. Good luck. I got voices mixed up, but it's fine. I wish, though, there was something I could do to help this person. Quit bugging me, kid. I've got to figure out how to fix this wall. Man, they weren't kidding. This draft is chilly. What do you want to do? Sure. Oh, man. You don't know how badly I was craving one of these. I love peanut choo choos. I guess I can go take a fiver to eat this. 
I need to regain my energy if I'm going to be doing construction work. Thanks a lot, kid. Alright. Oh, we got an axe. Huh. It's a real axe. Ooh! What a pretty ring. Uma. Oops, time for me to run. Uma. Hmm. Oh, hey. I suppose we're... Oh. An earthquake? What the heck, Tony? Get out of our crops. Stupid labels. I'm just looking for something I lost. I'll go wherever I want. Huh. <laughs> That's quite the jump. Well, the bears can jump, but maybe not that high. But this, in this world, they can jump that high. Can you believe that, Tony? My poor turnips! He's destroying my garden! Someone needs to talk to that bear. He has such a bad attitude. It's the third time this week. I'm starting to get worried. I'd volunteer to talk to him, but Winston up there won't make us a boat to go to Tony's Island. Hey, you guys are new around here. Maybe Winston would be willing to help you out. Yeah, will you talk to him for us? Ask him to make a boat. Winston? You don't know Winston? He's that guy standing over there by the tent. Please talk to him for us. It's a matter of life and death. Well, life and dead turnips anyway. Okay, okay. Thank you. Alright, let's leave. Okay. No, seriously, what the heck, Uma? Ah, so we meet again. Why are you stealing again? I kept my promise. I didn't tell anyone you were staying in the hospital. But then, you go and steal a lady's wedding ring, who's in a coma. What's wrong with you? Ah, she wouldn't miss it. You don't understand. She asked me to bring it to her. What are you talking about? Why are you making things up? No, she really did ask me to bring her a wedding ring. And I think she might need your help opening that box over there. Not so you can keep what's inside, mind you, but for Winston. You're not fooling me again, Uma. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a wedding ring to deliver. Toodles! I think not. You're going to show us something. Winston. Winston. Is that you? Winston. Is somebody there? Hello? Why can't anybody hear me? Hmm. That's quite shocking, isn't it? <sighs> what a colorful world. What a rich imagination. But then, is it real? How real is it? What's even happening? I don't know. It's good that we got a chance to talk with Sue. Good that we got to talk with um, Winston, too. But yeah, that was very surprising to see uh, Gemma or Gemma at the end there. There's so many things to find, both um, in the world of Rockwin and in the world that's in this hospital. 
I hope, um, I don't know. Finding the time in the other world enjoyable. But also, I don't know, it's harder to relate to some of the characters there than to relate to faces and people in this hospital. Hmm. Does that mean that maybe we should spend more time in the world of Rockwin? Really trying to immerse ourselves and understand the glow shrooms and the cave buds and all the things that we find there? Or is that just a dream and we should focus more on this world? I don't know. Either way, I hope we've enjoyed this adventure and we'll continue to enjoy it next time. Thanks for watching.